Hello, everyone. My name is Hua Jie Xiao, and I'm a PhD student of computer science at URUC. Today, I'm going to present our paper, Controllable and Diverse Test Generation in E-Commerce. So this is a joint work with Alibaba and Seattle. Test generation has been widely used in many different applications, such as chatbot, review assistant, product description, and machine translation. However, there are some challenges for test generation. The first one, there is a trade-off between accuracy and diversity. If you want to improve the diversity of text, uh, generated text, it will reduce the accuracy. The second challenge is how to control the order of keywords in the generated text. As we know in e-commerce platform, the order of keywords plays an important role in attracting customers. It can promote their interest to improve the likelihood of clicking and purchasing. For instance, if we want to recommend a skirt to our customers who prefer price, we can write the skirt is very affordable yet charming. So we can put affordable first and charming second. However, if our customer prefers fashion, we can generate the text. The skirt is very charming yet affordable. So we can put charming first. The third challenge is the variation of the encoder models often suffer from kill vanishing for test generation. So here, kill vanishing means the value of kill divergence gradually drops to zero during model training. This is because the decoder is very powerful. So you can learn the information from the other paths. Now let me use a simple example to illustrate it. So if we use a transformer as a decoder, so the transmo transformer model can learn the information from the previous time steps. And also it can learn the information from the conditional encoder. So it doesn't sample the data from the distribution of the latent space. As a result, the variation autoencoder becomes autoencoder without any generative ability. So next, I use a toy example to illustrate the negative effect of Kilvanishin. In this example, if we input the keywords red skirt for three times, if our model suffers from kill vanishing, it will generate the same test data exactly three times without any diversity. So this is an active effect of kill vanishing. In order to deal with these challenges, I propose a new controllable test generation model called APEX that combines variation auto encoder with PI controller from control theory. So there are two parts for our model. And the first part is a conditional VAE that controls the keywords and their order in the generated text. And the second part is a PR controller, which controls the value of Q divergence to deal with the Q vanishing problem. So in the following slides, I'll introduce these two parts in detail. So first, let's go to conditional VAE that controls the keywords as their order in generated text data. So first we have a target encoder to encode the ground truth test data into a latent space. So here we use a special token motivated by BERT, you know, to learn the embedding of the whole sentence. And also, the second part is the conditional encoder. So we try to encode both the keywords and their order into the latent space. Then we try to get the embedding of the keywords and their uh, order. So finally, we can feed the concatenated embedding from the target encoder and the conditional encoder to get the distribution of the latent space. So for decoder, the decoder tries to reconstruct the input, you know, data, input data 
based on the distribution of the leading space and the conditional encoder. So, so next, I'll introduce the objective function of con conditional variation auto encoder. So there are two terms. And uh, the first term is the reconstruction term, which tries to reconstruct the input data by sampling the distribution of leading space and the conditional uh, encoder. The second is the kill divergence between the learned distribution of and latent space and also the predefined prior such as Gaussian. However, the problem is that the conditional VAE often suffers from kill vanishing problem. So how can we deal with this problem? Well, in this paper, I propose a controller to control the value of Q divergence based on the output feedback value of Q divergence. The basic idea is as follows. At first, we add a hyperparameter WT on the Q term. Then we try to design a controller to dynamically tune the weight to stable the output, stabilize the output Q divergence to the desired Q divergence. For example, if we set the Q, desired Q divergence to five, when our model suffers from Q vanishing, the value of Q divergence is zero. Then we can you know, sample the output Q divergence as a feedback and then compute the difference between the desired Q divergence and the output Q divergence. So here is five. Then we can use a controller from control theory to dynamically tune the weight W in order to stabilize the output Q divergence Q to the desired Q divergence, so phi. So next I'll introduce how to design a PR controller in control theory to stabilize the output Q divergence. Uh, first, I'll introduce the insight about how to design PR controller. So now let me use the example in this figure to illustrate. So this figure illustrates the value of Q divergence values during model training. For example, at the beginning of model training, if the value of Q divergence is very small, at that time, the error is large and positive. So we need to reduce the weight W in order to boost the Q divergence. However, if the Q output Q divergence is over set point, at that time, error is large and negative. So we need to increase the weight W in order to optimize the Q term. So after we update the weight up and down, we can stabilize the output Q divergence to the set point. Based on this motivation, I designed the following linear PI controller. There are two terms. Uh, the first is P term, the second is I term, which integrates the error in the past training steps. And also here, KP and KI are hyperparameters of PI controller. This figure illustrates the block diagram of our PI controller. Giving a set point, a desired Q value, we try to compute the error between the desired Q divergence and the output Q divergence. If there is an error, the PI controller will dynamically tune the weight W to stabilize the output Q divergence to the desired Q divergence. So this is how we design the PI controller. Next, let's take a look at the evaluation results. Uh, we illustrate that our PI controller can totally solve the Q vanishing problem. So this figure illustrates the value of Q divergence during model training. We can observe that for the baselines like cost annealing and cyclic annealing, their Q divergence gradually drop to zero, which means they suffer Q from Q vanishing problem. However, for our PI controller, it can stabilize the output Q divergence to a desired value, such as one, two, and five. So we can see a method can solve the Q vanishing problem. And also we want to illustrate our method can control the diversity of test generation. For instance, in this table, if we set the 
desired Q divergence to five, then we can see the apex PI5, you know, has more distinct grams than the other methods, and which means it can generate more diverse and test data. And also if we set the PI and the desired Q divergence to two, it has a smaller cell blur than the baselines, which means that it can generate more diverse test data. Here, please note that, you know, the self blur score of the apex PI5 is slightly higher than the apex and PI2. This is because the PI5 will generate a longer, you know, sentence than the PI2. So sometimes there are some overlapped keywords. Next, we conduct case studies to illustrate that our APAS model can control the order of keywords with a high accuracy. So let's take a look at case one. So we have four keywords with their order. So we try to generate the contrasting color first, pencil second, and charming third, and skull hemline fourth. So from the generated test, we can see that our model can exactly control the order of keywords in the generated data. And also if we switch the order of keywords in the second case, we can still see that our model can control, you know, the keywords and the order in the generated text, just the same as the input data. However, for the baselines, like uh, sequence to sequence, it cannot control the order of kill divergence. And also sometimes some keywords uh, will be missing in the generated text. On the other hand, we also want to illustrate that our model can generate more diverse data. For example, in case two one and case two two, we input the keywords and their order exactly same for two cases. Then we can see our model can generate quite different, you know, test data to describe the same items. So from this experimental results, we can see our apex can improve the, you know, accuracy of the order of keywords, and also it can generate more diverse data. Finally, we also do online A/B testing to illustrate the good performance of the proposed method. Currently, we deployed our model in the largest e-commerce platform owned by Alibaba in China. So according to A-B testing results, our model can improve the click-through rate by 4 to 17 percent last year. So here is the example of the text generated by our model, such as the title of the product and the reasons why you like to buy this item. Finally, let me conclude our paper. So in our work, we propose a new generative model called APEX that combines PI controller with conditional VAE to generate more diverse test data. And also our PI controller can totally solve the hill vanishing problem. And also our APEX model can control the diversity of generated text uh, finally, our model is currently deployed in the top of e-commerce platform owned by Alibaba. It can improve the click-through rate a lot. So this is the overall presentation. Thank you.